Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Friday, July 17th. I'm Chris Langlois. Let's start things off by checking in with meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. Stefano, good morning. Good morning, Chris. And a few lingering showers to start off our day today, but we are going to get some clearing today from west to east as we go through our afternoon. So we'll see the last of the showers taper off in central Pennsylvania this morning. Then look what happens. We slowly get sunshine from central Pennsylvania and just march to the east as we go through this afternoon and this evening. So even by the late afternoon, don't be too surprised if east of 81, there's one or two lingering showers left over, but nothing to wash out the day. 86 for the high, warm and more humid in your eyewitness weather forecast, along with a pop-up shower or thunderstorm. Tonight will drop down to the 60s. This weekend really does look mainly dry, just a stray thunderstorm, but we are back in the 90s, Chris. Thanks, Stefano. The 96th annual Novena to St. Anne begins today in Scranton. However, things will, of course, be different due to COVID-19 precautions. St. Anne's Basilica can normally hold 1,000 people inside, but this year that will be limited to about 130 per service. Masks must be worn at all times and social distancing rules will be in place. Volunteers will sanitize the church after every service and there will be no outdoor masses or food stands. There will also be no 7.30 p.m. services. The services will be broadcast on the radio, television, and online. St. Anne's Novena runs until July 26th. Governor Tom Wolf's administration announces new guidance on how schools can safely open up this fall. Masks must be worn by students and staff and can only be removed when eating or drinking. It also advises students and caregivers to do a daily symptom screen before leaving for school. Also, it says each school district should lay out their plans online for students and staff to access. If you'd like to get your top stories throughout the day, you'll find that at our website, pahomepage.com.